Monday morning. I'm about to start nights tonight. Um, it's just after 8 a.m. And that'll be an interesting day. I'm going to hopefully purchase a bicycle um, from Downey Cycles in Dremor. I'm going there to get fitted. His son is qualified for the Olympics um, in track cycling. So I have cycled to work um, a few times since um, starting back. It's 26 kilometers away, but um, I had a, a cheap uh, road bike beforehand that has kind of run run its course. Can't forget the old m and cookie in the breakfast as well. Um, so doing that and then afterwards going up to Belfast to get on the water. Nights are kind of strange. I um, kind of stayed up very late last night to about two and um, so i'm quite tired this morning but it means then af when i have to go up to belfast to go in the water then i'll come back and i'll hopefully be exhausted so i'll get a nap and um, for an hour or two in the middle of the day today and then wake around wake up around five ish um, and then have some food and do weights and then go into work Nice and fresh and ready to stay up all night long. So I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, which is actually unreal outside Dremore, and um, trying out this Cube Atan. Uh, I don't have one of my size because I'm big, but I think I'm going to go for the pro version of this if I can wait for the stock to come in, disc brakes and um, beautiful bike, so much nicer than mine. <laughs> so I'll not be getting it today, unfortunately. We're now here at the rowing club. Uh, which my boat club's also a tennis club, so don't go in there. Because uh, you're not allowed inside. So we hop around the outside. Um, I'm late. I don't like being late. I'm not usually late, but I am late. And everyone should already be on the water. per se um, hands are pretty sore for some reason the lagging you ha you have to turn to the off your turn off your bow bow side a lot um, so my left hand is cut to shreds but it's only only back in the water for the first time in a long time so um, I'm allowing the hands to be sore for a while but I'll probably not get on the water again for another few days till Saturday maybe but um, my old Queen's Boathouse is just down the street in there so I guess this is a good morning uh, technically the same day, it's half five I came back from training earlier got um, a pizza, a nice coffee sat out the back in the sunshine and um, wasn't back till like half two Came up at about three to grab some sleep before starting the, the night shift. So I ended up getting about an hour um, in total. Got over at about half four, but at least I was lying in the bed watching nonsense on Netflix. So I wasn't really doing too much too active. 
it's really hard to sleep the first the first day before nights if that makes sense because like you're not tired and you're coming out of a normal sleeping pattern so you have to like try and swap your sleeping pattern so i try and get a little bit of sleep um, and then tomorrow i'll be exhausted coming off the night shift because it's always the first night that's the hardest and then I'll, I'll i'll try and get some more sleep tomorrow hopefully three or four hours during the day um which would be ideal so i'm gonna pop downstairs now and um, throw weights around for an hour or so and then get some food and night shift start at eight so i'll have to head out from the house at around just after half seven my hand was waking me up so many times i put pseudo cream on it and like if you hang it down um, at all the blood just rushes to it and it starts throbbing so that eventually woke me back up long before my alarm so that's me changed into questionable attire uh, doing some weights i uh, got some squats cleans uh, rdls uh, a few other bits um a couple bought some back stuff some accessory and some core so i've backed off the squats to um it's a uh, 95 um, for uh, six sets of 10. <laughs> I wanted to uh, show you something. So I was doing a little bit of stuff for Circle K there, the petrol station that helps us as Team Ireland athletes with some fuel, etc. with the point system here for Ireland. But I had a photo shoot with them and they sent me a rowing oar. Not be much rowing done with this, boys. If anyone is in need for canoeing paddle, I'm your man. <sighs> Last night was actually okay. It's just after 9 a.m. I've just rocked home and I'm trying to uh, muster up the willpower to uh, jump on the bike here for an hour and a half, possibly two hours. Um, a minimum of 55, uh, minimum of 60k we'll do 60k in the bike um but i'll go in and get a coffee um and then after that i'll go to bed for a few hours i obviously don't video inside the hospital because that's um just stupid um and i would never do that but yeah started at eight last night finished at about half eight quarter to nine this morning drove home so i'm gonna go in here and i'd like to be asleep by midday, um, whether that'll happen or not, who knows, so we'll have to see how it goes, and we might just need to adapt the training, I was really struggling with my hand last night in the hospital, because like putting on the gloves, hand sanitizer on my open cut was just horrific, so I'll go in here and unbosh and, and this out. I have a confession, I only did 50k on the bike, because um, by the time I came home and sat around, for a while it was far too late to do well realistically i could have taken another 20 minutes and done 60. did it rate uh 80 there uh, but really low rate um nice and chunky finished up at 230 watts started off the watts really low just to get the body back into it um kept the revolutions pretty low and uh the resistance quite high so 
that's not usually where I would sit. Usually I sit a lot higher in the watts, but to be honest, when you're tired and it's just getting started, it's the hardest thing. There are some days where you just can't be asked, um, I'll not lie, but those are the days where you just get on and get moving and then 10 minutes in, you get a taste for it and, and you push on. So it's now half 12, I'm gonna to go to bed. Um, I've had some food there um, with some chocolate and strawberries and then I'm going to get, so it's half 12 now, I'll go to sleep hopefully before one-ish um, and then I'll be up around half four, five, so about five hours sleep. I'll train again. Hey, it's uh, 18.50. Woke up about half four, um, messed around, sort of took my body some time to wake up. About three and a half hours sleep by the time I got to sleep around one um, and then about an hour and a half last night. So hit five hours on a night is, is actually not too bad. I, um, I've i just finished my Real Perfect workout there. To get two sessions done on a night shift is actually good for me. Um, I'm happy with that. If I can if I can get two done every day on nights then I'm I'm very happy. It's hard to balance on nights I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um like I haven't got it I haven't got it down, I haven't got it perfect. I'm still working on it. Some days I, I come home and go straight to bed and then get up and try and do two. Some days I come back, have a coffee, ended up end up wiring myself and not getting to sleep till one PM and then having less sleep for the night. So it all depends on how busy the night is and how much sleep I've had and you just have to play it by ear, so Happy enough as is at the moment. Uh, I hope everyone's getting on well with the lockdown and um, I'll see you in the next one. All the best.